Okay, in this example, we're going to show you how to use your TI-89 to calculate um, coulombic attraction between two charged particles. And from physics, you remember this expression, that Coulomb's law tells you that the force between two charged particles is given by a constant multiplied by Q1 times Q2, that's the charge of your two particles, divided by R squared, and that's the separation between these two particles. Why I like this example is because these all have funky units, and you're going to see that your TI-89 is able to spit out the answer in newtons really pretty effortlessly. So let's dive into it. When we do this, the first thing we need to do is we recognize that the, uh, the constant in front of it, k, is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi multiplied by the permittivity of free space. So your calculator doesn't know what the permittivity of free space is. That's not a pre-programmed constant in your calculator, but we can create one really easily. We're going to store it as a new variable. So the value is 8.85 e to the negative 12. That's farads per meter are the units. So we're going to do the underscore, because this is going to be a unit, capital F divided by underscore, and then we're going to do meters, right? We're going to store that into a new variable that we're going to name permittivity of free space, PFS. So we're going to do PFS. Um, this will be a new variable for us. Okay, there it is. Now we can go ahead and uh, figure out what the force should be with this expression. Okay, so this is going to be, let's give ourselves this. Right? So inside this, this is going to be 1 divided by, it's going to be 4, this is our little pi button up here, so let's go up to pi, multiplied by the permittivity of free space, so we're going to go P, F, S, I'm going to add a multiply in between there, I think it'll work without it, but I'm going to add it just in case, okay? So that's 1 over 4 pi times PFS. That's our constant in front. Now we need to multiply it by the charge. Let's say that the charge is just 1 on both of these particles, that it's plus 1 and, and minus 1. Right? So this is going to be 1 multiplied by the fundamental charge of an electron. So the fundamental charge of an electron we haven't defined, but we can just go ahead and type it out right now. It's going to be equal to... 1.602 e to the negative 19, that's coulombs. So again, we go up here, underscore, we go capital C, O, U, L, that's for coulombs, right? And then we're just going to square that because both of these um, are the same. So we go up to our square right there. All right. So that gives us the charges, right? So that's two charges. Now we just need to divide this by the separation distance. So we'll divide this by a distance. Let's say that these things are located, I don't know, say two angstroms apart. So two angstroms, that's two e to the negative 10 meters. So go up here and type in meters. And then we need to remember that this is also squared. So we're going to square that. And when we hit enter, out pops Newton. So even though this was a complicated expression, you had farads per meter, you had coulomb squared up here, you had meter squared here, out comes your correct answer with the correct units.